ask you to believe that we are not addressing you know, the of Catholics as individuals. Okay. We believe there are many, many good Christian Catholics, and that some of the best conservative strongholds have come from old school Catholics. Okay. Now, three or four children are born by a choice at Catholic hospital, and we have the warmest feeling toward that faithful Catholic viewers. But, at the same time, our duty is to tell the whole truth, and if we be found without the whole truth, we have ceased to have the reason to continue to publish Christian Awake. Christian's Awake. May God bless our efforts to the glory of the holy name and the kingdom of God. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. John 832. Albert Glatton Mackey, 1807 1881, the 33rd degree Mrs. Mason, was like Albert Pike, a Luciferian and an initiate of the satanical Palladian rites. Mackey, who claimed to be a reincarnate of Jacques de Molay, more than an ordinary mason. He was secretary of the Supreme Council for the Southern Jurisdiction of Scottish Rite. Masonry <laughs> at the time, Pike became a sovereign grand commander. Mac, Mac, he was the author of many books, including the Encyclopedia of Freemasonry. You say time pledge? Time pledge? Published by Mr. Mason at the Messiah History Company. Time play. Let us quote. The Bible of the Great, as the prophet Daniel called it, was situated 475 miles in a nearly due east direction from Jerusalem. Travel. In the symbolic language of Masonry, Mason always travels from left to east in search of light. He travels from the lofty tower of Babel, where language was confounded and masonry lost. Confusion of tongues. The tower of Babel is referred to in the ritual of the third degree as a place where language was confounded and masonry lost. Hence, in the stock symbolism, as masonry professed to possess, the universal language, the confusion of tongues of Babel is a symbol of that intellectual darkness from which the aspirant is seeking to emerge on his passage to the intellectual light which is imparted by the order. The legend of the craft. And at the making of the Tower of Babylon, there was Mishai, first made at Bustle. And the king of Babylon, Menrod, Nimrod, was a mason himself. Okay. Oh, I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. Don't worry. Don't worry about that. I am listening. Okay. In the mythical relations of the old constitutions, which made up the legend of the craft, it is spoken of as the ancient birthplace of masonry where Nimrod who was its builder and was a mason and loved well the craft employed 60,000 masons to build it. The careful Bible reader will find considerable more about Babylon the Great in the book of Revelation that is that book of Daniel. Furthermore, after reading the forthcoming series on maybe certain Catholicism, you may wish to carefully, carefully read the book of Revelation again. Yeah, fucker again. The important thing about these quotes from Acts and Encyclopedia, be their basis, fact, or myth, is they point out 
how Masonry has aligned itself here in, his, in opposition to the Lord. All right, everybody. Tell me my evidence. The, the King James Version was possible. And read Genesis 1, 1 through 9. The Hebrew is a most difficult language to translate. And there we find that in Genesis 11, 2, a more accurate translation of they journeyed from east would be they journeyed eastward. It is some King James versions have a footnote to this effect. Eastward has ever been the direction the Mason travels to seek more light and to build. It is not without Bible significance that the wise men, Magi, the Greek, came from the east and traveled along to seek the true light of the world, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Back to Max. Hey, I saw a deer last night. Here, I'll start a new. 